If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already, and with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 54 of the career mode Road to Glory here on FIFA 15. We're using some of the money we made from getting through the FA Cup quarterfinal to try and bring in an extra free agent or two before the end of this second season. Of course, we are running very low on squad numbers with the, all of the multitude of broken ankles that the game seems to want to give to my current players. So we're looking at a centre-back, looking at a winger. I'm also going to have a look at a few strikers as well if possible. We are, of course, going to have the FA Cup semi-final final in today's episode against Chelsea that will be the second game of uh, the episode so hopefully we can use the money made from that tie whether we win or lose to um to go towards bringing in a couple of players before the end of the season as a whole and uh, of course that will help either a use up the budget before it gets reset for season three or help us bring in a player or two for the last two league fixes of the uh, of the season and of course try and get us that automatic promotion spot out of the championship out of league one sorry into the uh, the championship as you can see putting in bids for a, a few players here strikers wingers center mids center backs wing backs trying to strengthen absolutely anywhere I can even if these sort of players come in for now for the end of this season and we then move them on in the third season just for profit just to help with the squad numbers for now but uh, we start with a game away from home against the tough Doncaster side although as you'll see from the league table that's about to pop up on your screen really not having the best things this season five wins from their 43 games 20 draws which is probably the main reason why they are where they are in the league table and 18 defeat sees them sit heavily in the relegation zone whilst we sit up in the uh, playoff slash automatic promotion spots ourselves hoping to improve on that position today with a win in this particular game so uh, Doncaster though like I say very good side at the keep mode stadium really should be playing at a level higher than 23rd in league one if anything they should be one of the sides challenging at the top of the table this particular season so it is a bit strange to be playing a side that good that are having that bad a season but these things happen from time to time and we're going to try and get ourselves off to a decent start and in actual fact we get a a penalty here in bizarre circumstances the corner came in and the goalkeeper came out to just punch it clear Liam Hughes went down in a heap and I even from the replay and after editing as well I can't tell who got the initial touch on the ball if Hughes got it clear and the, the uh, goalkeeper came out and just clearly punched him in the head then fair enough but I think the goalkeeper got something on that then wiped out Liam Hughes regardless the referee deemed it enough of a foul to give us a penalty and then Quizziapai stepped up to uh, put it into the back of the net so after eight minutes sometimes you know the luck just doesn't go your way when you're down the bottom and it does go your way when you're near the top and maybe that was another one of those instances for us all to, uh, to witness there but Liam Hughes was involved in the first he's going to be involved in the second as well this time picking up a genuine assist squaring the ball across for Adam Armstrong to put it in into the back of the net really tidy finish considering he was under pressure by a defender on his shoulder top ball across from Liam Hughes as well who's one of the players that's been playing every game recently so uh, unfortunately he finds himself quite uh, low on fitness but unfortunately another injury is going to come our way Quezzi Apaya this time our best striker goes down holding you know it his ankle Tom Elliott who's just back from a broken ankle himself comes off the bench to uh, to join in just before half time we were so close to getting in at the break and uh, everybody you know getting a stamina boost etc but Quezzi goes down holds his ankle and uh, we'll have confirmation after the game of how long he's going to be out for but it isn't the best of news for us unfortunately but Tom Elliott gets played through here he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes and he scores himself a goal to make it 3-0 here uh, away from home against Doncaster really convincing performance and it just kind of uh, you know consolidates Doncaster's position in the relegation zone and uh, unfortunately for them and their fans it's really going to be a torrid season for them because Chikawi is going to make it four here top finish actually on his left foot doesn't have the highest of weak star a uh, weak foot stars to be completely honest I think it's only two or three but the the first touch as you'll see from the replay was enough to take it the other side of the defender that was with him just there committed the defender and then the shot actually bent away from the goalkeeper to go in off the post an exquisite finish from a youngster that really hasn't started to grow just yet the way we might want him to but is still the highest rated player at the club so a convincing victory 4-0 away from home but unfortunately confirmation there that Quezia Pai is going to be out for four 
four weeks with another ankle injury. This time only a sprained ankle rather than a broken ankle. But that is long enough to see him miss the remainder of the season, including this FA Cup semi-final at Wembley for League One Cambridge United against my other team that I support, Chelsea. So uh, I was well, I didn't necessarily have torn loyalties because if these two if these two matched in real life, I would be uh, in the Cambridge stand all day long anyway. But uh, obviously in FIFA terms, I want to do my best for uh, my local side as well. And uh, it's not going to be easy. Tom Elliott starting up alongside uh, Adam Armstrong, who again was going to be starting with very low fitness. Unfortunately, that was the uh, the same situation for Jenkins Chikawi as well out on the right hand side. But uh, at least after this one, the the games only, the remaining two league games only come at the weekend, so we get a week's break and then a week's break. So hopefully we'll be in full fitness and uh, be able to attack League One again after this one with uh, a full fledgling of 100% uh, fit players in our first team. But they're starting Edinson Cavani up top. And as you might well expect, Chelsea were going to dominate this fixture. As you can see, Oscar playing in Cavani here, drawing a good save out of Coppola. But whilst I say Chelsea were going to dominate the fixture, we were going to defend very well as well. That was as far as we came to actually getting a shot on goal in the first half there from Adam Armstrong that was well blocked. So uh, you can pretty much understand how hard I was defending. We're on to the hour mark now. We really kept Chelsea down to, uh, a few, to only a few chances. Again, Coppola batting it away. Not really able to hold on to the shot there from Oscar. And uh, fortunately, for me it went clear ball's going to drop kindly here for Cavani but he hits the inside of the post Chelsea still not able to get themselves the uh, the goal they need to go in front they fell fortuitously down to Edinson Cavani off the uh, deflection off the defender you'll see from the replay that it just hits him on the uh, the shin there drops straight to him you'd have thought a player of Cavani's uh, ability would have just buried that into the back of the net every single time this time though perhaps a little bit nervous at Wembley for his uh, probably first time at, uh, at the stadium and then Diego Costa does exactly the same thing a really wasteful effort from him actually kicked my defender there as uh, he was frustrated with himself and then bounced off him it was really weird from the uh, physics engine definitely uh, go back a couple of seconds and re-watch that uh, closely to see what Costa does there but as you can see on the attack ourselves trying to get a last minute winner unfortunately Richard Tate's turn inside is blocked by Felipe Luis and then there on the counter attack he's Eden Hazard racing away he's going to get down this left hand side stands the ball into the box Sherlin knocks it on Cahill's there to score the goal to give Chelsea the victory in the 94th minute absolute heartbreak for League One Cambridge United at Wembley Stadium in the final stages against BPL opposition just the quality finally came through. In fairness, Chelsea definitely deserved the victory, but of course, to get it in that fashion was particularly downhearting, downheartening for us. But as you can see, like we say, a week's break until the next two games in the, in the league against uh, Walsall and then Burton. So we will try our best to get maximum points from those two. And if we do get maximum points from those two, we will finish in the automatic promotion spots. But as you can see, one of those games is against Walsall. And if we lose that, they'll go above us into second of course that all depends what Barnsley do in their game so that second automatic promotion spot could go to any of three teams with only two games remaining so if we get maximum points we will be promoted it is all in our hands the question is can we follow up with the, the promise that the team has been showing all season long. We will have to wait and see. There are only two games left, and then, of course, we'll have a season roundup on Friday's episode. So I won't do a squad report tonight, but because we will be having one in the not-too-distant future on Friday. So uh, no squad report for now, but uh, that will be coming a little bit later on in the week. But drop the video a like if you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it be this series, the My Player series, the Liverpool Career Mode series, or, as course, of course, the football manager stream series that is being uploaded onto the channel as well i'm putting my uh, my twi twitch uploads or my twitch streams into uh, into 30 minute chunks then uploading them straight onto youtube in the uh, the early hours of the morning around about 7 a.m so not technically too early but still definitely check those out if uh, you miss the streams and it's something that might interest you they have gone down very well so far getting loads of views loads of likes and loads of great feedback in the comment section so hopefully that continues but for now for monday evening that will bring your videos to a close thank you very much for watching i'll probably be streaming tonight as well so definitely check my twitch channel and my Twitter. All links will be in the description down below and I will see you next time.